It is definitely June 1st and I am going to plant sweet potatoes today. This is one of those hope springs eternal things for me. Um, first year I grew sweet potatoes, no problem. They were awesome. And I got loads and loads and loads of sweet potatoes just from a few little plants. Second year I grew them and I had voles that got into my sweet potato pen and they really did a number on it. Now I've been trying to get my voles under control Voles or no voles, I'm still going to try to plant sweet potatoes. Not going to try. I am going to plant sweet potatoes, and I'm hoping that they'll grow this year. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Last year, I created what I call this little sweet potato pen here, and that was mainly to keep deer out and keep other critters from getting in. And so I have, um, I have a trellis here that melons are going to grow up on. I've got a couple of volunteer sunflowers in there. But in this space right in here, it's enclosed, I'm going to be planting my sweet potatoes. Now I have some flowers growing on the edges as well, and behind it it's our tomatoes. And tomatoes and sweet potatoes are fairly good neighbors, so hopefully this will help. Let's take these sweet potato slips, and they're just, they've got roots on them. I have not, I did not grow these myself. I'm sorry to say that's something I have not done yet next year. I'm going to try to do that, but this year I just didn't get to it in time to get started. These are pretty sturdy looking when you, uh, when you really take a look at I'm them. I'm going to just uh, start planting. Now I've got a sunflower here and I've got a squash that I'm going to trellis up this trellis. Um, but let's go ahead and start getting these sweet potatoes started. This is a bed that was created um, by putting down a lot of mulch and then topping it off with hay and it's pretty good loose rich soil so I'm going to go ahead and plant these relatively deep. I will be mulching down some more, oh sorry worm, mulching down some more. Hello centipede, I really didn't mean to bother you but I'm afraid you got bothered. Yeah, this is nice, rich soil here. The sweet potatoes should do well. Sweet potatoes like it warm, so, and they have a pretty long growing season as well. I'll be pulling in, putting in more mulch as we go. Now you also notice I have a couple of little watermelons growing here as well. They may stay or they may go. Go ahead and water these in as we go. The earth is surprisingly moist um, underneath a deep mulch. One of the great advantages of growing in a deep mulch system is that you're, you really have much less watering to do. It's possible that these will cross over and grow into that area. That's fine by me. I like to have a chaotic garden. Did you know that that's a thing people are doing now called chaos gardening? I thought all gardening was chaos, but silly me. Yeah, I'm gonna put another bunch of mulch down on here just cause I think it's gonna really help, uh, help the growing conditions and keep conditioning this lovely soil here. Planting them about every two feet. It's amazing the deep mulch systems, what they can do for your soil. This soil is naturally hard Virginia Piedmont clay. And uh, it is can be very tough to grow in. These sweet potatoes might well end up just trellising up the fence. One of the reasons I built this pen area is the first year that I uh, grew them, I grew them, actually it was the second year, but I grew them on the edge of the fence here and they grew up beautifully and the deer loved it. So I built this pen so that I could have more of an internal growing area, but still some fence area. And if it grows up those fence areas, no big deal, the deer will just get a little something, something extra. Water everybody in really well. These are some of the prettiest plants that I grow. I just love them. When they flower, the blossoms are so pretty. Now I know in a lot of different cuisines, in Korean cuisine and different Asian cuisines, sweet potato leaves are quite quite a thing. Um, I have not tried cooking them, but maybe this year I will. So now all to do is water them regularly. Hope the voles don't come in and get them. Keep the rabbits out. 
keep the deer away. Wait about 120 days and we should have some sweet potatoes. I hope your garden is growing well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Hey, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.